that wall. I have a dream. Guys, stop the revolution! Black Lives Matter! Student debt in the U.S. Students protesting. Two Muslim students coming here with visas. Total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States. The recent elections impacted my life in different ways. It seems like we're just going backwards. People said they were scared, they were angry. But for me, it kind of like motivates me, I guess, to become like a stronger individual and a stronger, like, have more faith in my religion. This is what I believe in, and this is who I want to be. Coming here to protect sacred water. There's a lot of things going on in society and a lot of people try to hide the fact that they're Muslim, but Averroes teaches us to be proud. Averroes has helped me become more confident about myself. One thing I like about Averroes is that the community is small. Each teacher knows you personally. And you really get to bond and it's like you build this connection. I believe Averroes has prepared me in a lot of ways. They prepare you for life and they want you to succeed. They provide us with college counselors and teachers with experience to help us accomplish our goals that we set as a freshman. I learned that I can be myself around people and I don't have to change myself to fit in. One thing I've learned at Averroes is being able to accept people for their differences and learning to live with one another. There's a saying of the Prophet Muhammad, and it's a beautiful saying. It says, even if the day of judgment is around the corner, plant a seed. So I can't lie, I wrote something, a whole two pages, and then I was sitting over there and I was like, you know what, I'm going to just have an honest conversation. Uh, high school is hard. It's hard. So here we have these young freshmen coming into school. They're trying to find, they're trying to be independent. They're trying to be on their own. They got hormones kicking in. Uh, they have social media that they have to deal with. They have... Um, girls and boys on their minds and and then we have to teach them it, it, it's extremely hard so what uh sister Ali said about being a partner uh in this it is so crucial that the parent the student and the staff work together in order to uh make it successful for the students for that four years they're going from being young young children and into adulthood and it's very important that you guys work together um today i'm going to challenge the junior high schools, even though I know we partner on, on, on a lot of levels, that we work together because the communication between you and us will allow us to help those kids. And so it's very important that we work together as a community. But it is extremely hard at the high school level. But I enjoy it. I love it. I come in. I smile. They put a smile on my face. And to see them in ninth grade, to see them become seniors and graduate, the maturity level, the things that they, they accomplish, and then to see them in the real world coming back as council members, coming back as uh, techs and consultants, mashallah, and they're very, very grateful. They come back and give to the community. So we must stick together, and that's the only way our kids are going to be successful, inshallah. So I'll tell you a little bit about Averis. I'll pass this one up. Um, we're passionate educators. We've been around for 12 years. Uh, we're centrally located in Fremont. Um, we have a partnership with Ohlone College. So we have a, a building down right across from the Ohlone campus. Uh, we have like three classrooms up at the top uh, of Ohlone. Uh, we utilize their facilities for our sports, soccer, basketball. Um, uh, we have a good, great relationship with them. They also let their college counselors come in and speak to our kids about, you know, what they need to do to uh, progress in college, inshallah. Uh, we're A, uh, a through G approved and WASA accredited. Uh, other things we offer, and I'll have Brother Sadiq come up after after I go through the slides and talk a little bit about our theology program in, in uh, Arabic and Quran, inshallah. Uh, we have our courses, uh, math, science, history, PE, humanities. Uh, we do the dual enrollment. Like I said, we have college classes at Avera, I mean, at Ohlone College. 
Um, we have competitive sports. Alhamdulillah, I'm the basketball coach as well. Our boys basketball team did really well. We made it to the state bracket, so we were really excited about that for the first time. Um, so, And our boys soccer went to the playoffs as well for the second time. Uh, traveling, uh, our seniors go to Spain. Uh, our juniors go to D.C. Um, our ninth and 10th graders kind of flip-flop. They go between the Navajo Nation and Arizona, and then they also go to um, the Civil Rights Movement in uh, Atlanta, Georgia, and down south. That is the most beautiful um, uh, trip. I, I go on it almost every year, and it's very exciting. You learn so much about uh, the history, the American history, as they say. Uh, we do have a, a counselor. Uh, we're going through Kalilala. We have a, a therapist on well uh, on our staff as well, Miss Sabrine. Uh, she's done amazing uh, with our with our uh, children. Um, supportive Islamic environment, community service workshops. Uh, we do a lot of camps, internship. Uh, we bring in private um, companies to work on their college applications and give support in that area. We we try to build those long uh, life relationships. It's, um, it's uh, students who text me to this day, you know, just checking in on me, seeing how I'm doing, seeing what we need for our school. So we definitely uh, build those bonds. So at, at uh, AHS, graduates are innovative problem solvers, effective communicators, uh, college and career ready, equipped with life skills, emotional intelligence, and uh, have that growth mindset. I know that's another thing about Islamic high schools. Um, they say that our kids can't go to co the, the prestigious colleges, um, and I beg to differ. Uh, we had ki our kids get into Cornell, Berkeley, Purdue, UC Davis, Tem uh, Temple, UCLA. Uh, I think last year we had two of our students get into Berkeley. Uh, two got into Davis, I believe, uh, alhamdulillah. So, and that was out of like probably like uh, 12 to 13 kids. So alhamdulillah, our kids are doing really well. Um, these are some of the... Uh, Omar Dean, uh, he's a council member in uh, San Jose. Uh, um, some of our players do go on to play college basketball. Brother Sadiq's son, Muhammad Gilchrist, uh, he played at the college level. Mashallah, he's done really well, even being on ESPN. Uh, Sister Summer, I believe she's in uh, mental health now. So alhamdulillah, our, our uh, students are achieving success outside of Averroes. Like I said before, let's stay together. Let's stay connected. It's important that we all work together because we cannot do it alone. And there is a big battle out there that our, our children have to face every day. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, briefly, just to um, reiterate the fact. So basically, I'm just going to run down a quick list of what they're going to be studying this year. So our ninth and 10th graders in creedal theology, they'll be studying the Aqidah of Imam Ahmed al marzuki It's called Aqidah al-Awam, a very famous poem. Many of the children learn it uh, at a certain level, but then when they get to high school, it's uh, imperative that they go deeper. So our ninth and 10th graders will be doing that. Uh, our, our 11th and 12th graders will be studying the Jawharat al-Tawheed, which is a book which was written by Ibrahim al-Laqqani which is also in creedal theology, uh, but it's an even deeper look. So these books are designed to give them some of the tools that they'll need to navigate uh, all of these challenges that they're facing. Uh, in Islamic jurisprudence, they're going to be studying uh, the Metan of Ibn Abi Shuja' al-Asfahani. It's a very good uh, uh, Islamic book for them to study in terms of Islamic law. And then finally, when it comes to prophetic bi uh, biography, they'll be studying the, the Shama'il of At-Tirmidhi, and then in Islamic akhlaq um, and adab, they'll be studying the Bidayat uh, al-Hidayah from Imam al-Ghazali. These books are good books for them uh, at this particular junction in their lives because uh, it equips them with some of the tools they'll need to navigate uh, the serious questions that they'll face when they, co when they go to college. So, inshallah, we've been working really hard for the last two, three years to do that. And we ask for your dua that we are successful.